and welcome to Sing, Sign, Laugh, and Learn here at the Edmonton Public Library. We're so happy to have you with us today. My name is Rena, and I'm going to be hosting this session of Sing, Sign, Laugh, and Learn. And I hope that you'll join in with us today. We have three guiding principles here at the Edmonton Public Library for all of our classes and events. And I'm going to run through those really quick before we start. So the first one is to be safe. And we're trying to keep you and us safe by having this program virtually instead of in person. We can't wait to see you back in the library, but we want to make sure that we can welcome you back in a safe, safe way. So for now, we're just going to meet virtually. Our second guiding principle is to have fun. We want you to have fun and we want to have fun. So I'm going to be acting a little silly today and I hope that you'll be silly too at home and we'll get all of our sillies out together. Number three, go with the flow. If this class is a little too long for you, that's okay. You can pause it, you can come back and watch later, or you don't have to. Just make sure it works for you. All right, so I think we're just about ready to get started, but before we do, there might be a few things that you want to grab that will help you in participating in the class today. The first thing you might want to grab is a scarf. I'm going to be using a scarf today for a couple of our songs and rhymes. So if you want to grab a scarf or a piece of fabric, or if you don't have one of those, you can even grab a tea towel or a dishcloth. Any of those would work in place of a scarf. All right. The other thing you might want to grab is a stuffed animal because you might want to use a stuffed animal for a couple of our songs today. You might not. And if you don't have one, that's okay too. All right, I have my bucket. I hope you have your bucket or basket and let's pick up all of our stuffed animals or, or soft toys off of the floor together. Ready? Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere, clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. Wow, I've got some of my stuffed animals and my puppets here in my bucket. But you know what? I do still have some toys on my floor. I have some books. How about we clean up our books together? Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. All right, I think that's all my toys in my bucket. Now I'm gonna put that off to the side where I'm not gonna trip over it, and then we can get started. Okay, it's time for our hello song. And before we sing hello, there are a few signs that I want to teach to you. So. I would like you to know the sign for play. So we're gonna make the sign for play by making our hand into kind of a Y shape with our pinky and our thumb sticking out like this. We're gonna do that with both of our hands and then we're gonna wiggle our hands back and forth really fast and that's the sign for play. Also, we're gonna make the sign for sun and we make the sign for sun by making a circle in the sky like this above our head and then we make sunbeams with our fingers coming down at us so that's the sign for sun. And we're gonna need to know the sign for bird. So we're gonna take our thumb and our pointer finger and we're gonna make like a little beak. And we're gonna make the little beak make movement in front of our mouth. And that's the sign for bird. And we're gonna do the sign for happy. And we make the sign for happy by using both of our hands. We make them flat like this. And then we make circles in front of our tummy and our chest like this. And that's the sign for happy. All right, now we can sing our song. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. How is everyone today? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. I'm so glad you came to play. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. What a way to start the day. If we keep singing, hello, good morning. We'll be happy come what may. Let's do that one more time. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. 
How is everyone today? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. I'm so glad you came to play. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. What a way to start the day. If we keep singing, hello, good morning. We'll be happy come what may. Yay! I do have another song that uses sign language that I want to do with you today. And this one is called Mr. Sun. I bet you've heard this song before. So we're going to use that sign that we just used in Hello, Good Morning, the sun sign, where we make the sun with our finger and then we make sunbeams coming down at us. We're also going to use the sign for tree. So we make the sign for tree by putting our left hand out flat and then putting our right elbow on top of it and we make like jazz hands with our right hand and we wiggle our hand back and forth. So that's like a tree with all of its leaves blowing and that's the sign for tree. And then we're also going to make the sign for children. And the sign for children is like taking your right hand and patting all the little children on the head. Pat, 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 pat. And that's the sign for children. And then we're gonna make the sign for play again. Do you remember how to do the sign for play? We're gonna make those hands into a Y and we're gonna wiggle them back and forth. And that's the sign for play. Excellent. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. Yay! Let's do that again. One more time. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Yay! Well, that was really fantastic. And now I have a fun, fun tickle song or tickle rhyme for us. So if you're a big kid, and you don't have mom or dad there with you to help you with this, you can do it on your hand. If you're a mom or dad and you have a baby, you can do it on baby's tummy. So the first time you do it, I'm gonna show you how to do it on baby's tummy. And the second time, I'll show you how to do it on your hand. So it goes like this. Round and round the garden goes the little bear. R one step, two step, Tickle under there, yay! Round and round the haystack goes the little mouse. One step, two step, to her little house, yay! Good job. All right, so let's do that one more time. And this time we're gonna do it on our hand. Round and round the garden went the little bear. One step, two step, tickle under there. Round and round the haystack went the little mouse. One step, two step, to her little house. Yay! Thanks for doing that. That was so great. You did such a great job. And you know what? Now, if you can grab your scarf, remember I said we were gonna need that scarf earlier? So if you can grab your scarf, we're ready for a scarf game. And this one's called Little Bo Peep. So if you've got your scarf, let's hold it up. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep oh, and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Yay! Good job. Let's do that again. 
again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Yay! Let's do that again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Where'd it go? And doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Yay! That was great. You guys did such a good job. Well, now I have a great, great book for us to share together. So if you can cuddle up with your stuffy or your mom or dad or caregiver, we're going to read the story, The Cutest Critter. This is the book, The Cutest Critter by Marion Dane Bauer with photographs by Stan Tequila. Who's the cutest critter in the land? Is it a bear cub sleeping? Or a fawn just learning to stand? Is it a full playing peak? Or a baby bird with a wide open beak? Maybe it's a fox kit in black mitts. Or perhaps this pair of opposites. Oh, those are cute, aren't they? Baby raccoons in a struggle? Or lynx kittens having a snuggle? Ooh, that one's cute. Is it a wolf pup collecting a kiss? What about a gosling learning to hiss? They're all so cute. Then there's this bison calf getting a drink. Oh, this is cute. or a baby skunk working up a stink. Babies are cute, that's certainly true. But I've searched this world through and through. And of all the young critters I ever knew, not a single one is cuter than you. Yay, the end. That was a great story. And now I have some rhymes for us to do that are all about animals. 
So this next one is called monkey see, monkey do. And we're gonna need to know a few signs for this one. We're gonna need to know the sign for see. So we're gonna take our two fingers and we're gonna put them towards our eyes. We don't wanna poke our eyes. We just wanna put them towards our eyes and then move them away like this and point them out. And that's the sign for see. And then there's the sign for do. And we make the sign for do by taking our thumb and our pointer finger and we just kind of put it together like that. And that's the sign for do. Then we need to make the sign for same. And we do that by making a Y with our hands, with our thumb and our pinky finger and going back and forth like this. And that's the sign for same. Okay, are you ready? Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey does the same as you. You clap, clap, clap. Monkey claps, claps, claps. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey does the same as you. Can we stomp this time? You stomp, stomp, stomp. Monkey stomp, stomp, stomps. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey does the same as you. You, can we jump this time? Jump, jump, jump. Monkey jumps, jumps, jumps. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey does the same as you. You wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Monkey wiggle, wiggle, wiggles. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey does the same as you. You hide, hide, hide. Monkey hides, hides, hides. Yay! Good job, that was fantastic. I also have another rhyme for us that's all about animals. This is about animals that climb up a clock. And we're gonna start with a little mouse. So I bet you know this one too. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, one. The mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, yay. You know what else could run up the clock or go up the clock? I bet this bunny could go up the clock. Hickory dickory dock, the bunny hopped up the clock. Oof. The clock struck two, one, two. The bunny said, boo, hickory dickory dock. Good job. Now, I also have a monkey. Hickory dickory dock. The monkey swung up the clock. The clock struck three, one, two, three. The monkey said, Wee! Hickory dickory dock. Yeah! All right, I have one more animal. This one's super huge. Oh my goodness. Hickory dickory dock. The elephant lumbered up the clock. Oof! The clock struck four. One, two, three, four. The elephant said, no more. Hickory dickory dock, yay! Why do you think the elephant said no more? Do you think it's because maybe the elephant broke the clock? Yeah, it's so big. If he climbed up the clock, he'd break it. But I think we should do that again. All right, let's find that mouse. Here's our mouse. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, one. The mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. Oh, where's that bunny? Here it is. Hickory dickory dock. The bunny hopped up the clock. The clock struck two, one, two. The bunny said, boo, hickory dickory dock. And here's our monkey, hickory dickory dock. The monkey swung up the clock. The clock struck three, one, two, three. The monkey said, wee, hickory dickory dock. 
All right, where's that great big elephant? Hickory dickory dock. The elephant lumbered up the clock. Woof. The clock struck four. One, two, three, four. The elephant said, no more. Hickory dickory dock. Yay! Good job. That was fantastic. All right. Well, I also have a song for us about farm animals. And it starts with a cow. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say moo, moo. That is what they say. They say moo, moo. That is what they say. Hmm, what other animals do we have on a farm? We have a pig. Well, when pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say oink, oink. That is what they say. They say oink, oink. That is what they say. What other animals do we have on a farm? Do we have a sheep? Totally. What do sheep say? You got it, they say ba. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say ba. Ba. That is what they say. They say ba. Ba. That is what they say. Wow, we've done really well. I have one more animal. This one is a duck. <laughs> when ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say, what do you say? Quack, quack. That is what they say. They say, can you help her say it? Quack, quack. That is what they say. Yay, great job. Should we do that one one more time? I'll grab my cow. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say moo, moo. That is what they say. They say moo, moo. That is what they say. Now we have our pig. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say oink, oink. That is what they say. Can you help them? They say oink, oink. That is what they say. What about the sheep? Do you remember what sheep say? When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say ba ba. That is what they say. They say, can you help her say it? Ba ba. That is what they say. One more. We have that duck. Do you remember what ducks say? When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say quack, quack. That is what they say. They say quack, quack. That is what they say. Yay! Good job. You made such good animal noises. That was fantastic. And now we're going to sing goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. 
This is the way we say goodbye at the end of story time. We give our friends a big high five, a big high five, a big high five. We give our friends a big high five at the end of story time. We give our friends a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up. We give our friends a big thumbs up at the end of story time. We give our friends a big hug, a big hug, a big hug. Oh, big hug. We give our friends a big hug at the end of story time. We wave goodbye to all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. We wave goodbye to all our friends at the end of story time. Should we do that one one more time? This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye at the end of story time. Do you remember what we did? We give our friends a big high five, a big high five, a big high five. Good high fives. We give our friends a big high five at the end of story time. Can you get your thumbs up? We give our friends a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up. We give our friends a big thumbs up at the end of story time. We give our friends, can you give yourself a big hug? A big hug, oh, a big hug, a big hug. We give our friends a big hug at the end of story time. We wave goodbye to all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. We wave goodbye to all our friends at the end of story time. Thanks so much for joining us for Sing, Sign, Laugh and Learn today. We hope that we get to see you soon. Bye.